Hey everybody, welcome back to Maker's Playground HQ. I am Izzy, and today we're gonna build this and some other stuff for this. But look what this can do. Hey everybody, before we jump into today's video, first of all, I want to say thank you very much. So for those of you who saw about a month ago, we posted a video a little less than a month ago about an infeed table that clamps onto the saw stop. And we put them up for sale and it absolutely exploded beyond what we could have ever imagined. So we spent the last month bringing on new team members, really equipping ourselves to meet the demand. And I'm happy to say that we are about to send out the last of those um, orders that came in from that video uh, for, for the saw stops. We did a pre-sale on some DeWalt infeed tables. Let me show you that. Ha -ha. And those are all going out next week. As of the end of next week, we'll be all caught up with all of our pre-sales and the sales. And I'm super excited to be able to tell you that. But what I do want to tell you is that we are starting our next launch. We're doing a pre-sale on the infeed tables for the rigid. And we also have a surprise for you. So every contractor who's ever used one of these 10 inch corded saws knows how desperately it needs an outfeed table. So it just clips on just like that, that fast to get it on and off, and it works with the fence. Yay! I do want to mention that the uh, infeed table does not work with the fence. You have to scoot the fence out of the way, but it does work on both sides. So anyway, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you showed through the sales of these. I do want to let you know the early adapters, the sale for the outfeed table and the rigid are now available on the website. And as soon as we get these wrapped up next week, we'll be working on those and getting those shipped out. And I do want to say a big thank you to the team that we put in place. These guys have been busting their butts and really making this all possible. So thank you guys very much. Let's get back to the video. So recently I built this system here on my drill press. I know it looks a little bit complicated or maybe it doesn't, but it, it looks cool. And basically what it's for is indexing six positions so I can drill holes in a piece of angle aluminum. Now that may not sound all that exciting, but a larger version of this, not only can we index hole positions, we could also use it for routing uh, tasks and many other little interesting things around the shop. But we really want to up the game with this. This is like total slap together, get it done as fast as you can kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you how it works and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next to make this thing Awesome. That's it. That is all this jig does. Entre vous. Linear, linear guide rails. Linear guide rails. Linear guide rails and linear bearings. So, these, for those of you who have looked like on McMaster car and saw the price tag on these things, you might have had a little bit of heart attack or peed yourself just a little bit. Now these ones right here are off of Amazon and they're only about 50 bucks a piece or a set. They're 50 bucks for what you see right here. And one set will get us halfway there. So, um, be right back. There's the other set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that basic concept that I just showed you so it has a Y and a X, a Y and an X axis. So, and that's it. I mean, it's nothing super complicated, but to that, we can mount things like routers or drill bits or all kinds of stuffs. And we can also use it for an indexing plate so we can put stops positions on these and use it for indexing what we're doing now without the jig bouncing around a whole bunch because that one is just all over the place. So we want to make this as simple as possible. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I like simple, I like fast, I like to get it done. So we're going to make a base plate for this, then we're going to make a base plate for the top one, some stop positions, and we're going to leave this fairly simple so we can add different things to it, whether that be the router or the clamping systems or all that fun jazz. So first things first, let's go to the table saw. That right there will make Jack Rabbit want to slap the bar.
All right, so these rails are 23 and a half inches long, and because I really don't know what I'm gonna use this for beyond that right now, I wanna give myself as much movement as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave them the full length this way, and I'm gonna only make my bed like half that distance. So maybe even a little bit less than that. So maybe I'll just go like 11 and a half, which will give me 12 inches of movement that away. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm doing, because we're not, we're not, we're never going to park a jumbo jet on this. I'm never going to throw a three quarter horse router on here. I'm just going to drill in from the aluminum housing here and here and put in some, uh, some three quarter inch uh, number eights or number sixes like a so. That'll be more than enough because we'll have eight of those in that position. When we put the other rails on, we'll, that'll rigid this whole thing up. So that, that's good enough for what we're doing in this process. So let's drill some holes. So next step is pretty much just a rinse and repeat, but we're doing it on top here. And what I need to do is cut these down a little bit. I don't want that full length of them. Handily enough, they have these uh, actually threaded on here so I can take these bolts out. This pops off. This is stainless steel, so I'll cut this with an abrasive wheel. This is aluminum, so I'll cut that with the bandsaw. We'll do that for both pieces. And basically just repeat what we just did. We'll have the base for um, a really good, a really good, uh, stop positioning thingamajigger a thing stop positive stop positioning hole drilling device something Okay, hurry up and wait. Uh, it's been like 10 seconds. Only 600 more seconds to go. No, more than that. 600, 1200, 1800 more seconds to go. Now I need some stop positions, so there's a lot of different ways we can do it. Well, first of all, I'm gonna put four stop positions right here on the end of each one of these, not all the way across, just one there, one there, one there, one there. And then I wanna be able to have some stop positions within its, within its motion range as well. So to do that, 
We're gonna use a little chunk of purple heart. I'm just gonna put a screw hole position so I can screw down the stop wherever I want it. In each case, we'll have two positive stops. We'll have a positive stop on the right side, <coughs> positive stop on the left side. We'll do the same for the top. We'll have two positive stops. We'll have one in the front, one in the back, and then we'll have an adjustable one. So that'll give us our stop positions. Yeah. I think. So with this simple system, I was able to mount a router to it and build myself a neat little sled that raises and lowers it and I can use it for doing slot mortising. Yeah. That's awesome. So I think this may become a thing in the shop, but I'm gonna put a handle on it, just one handle that controls the uh, X and Y, and maybe make a table that instead of sliding to raise it and lower it, just go straight up and down. And then we'll have a nice little slot mortising machine in the shop, which will be cool. Uh, but in the meantime, for now, the XY table is going to live its life and fulfill its duty as a lowly, stop positioning system to drill like six bazillion holes in aluminum. Yeah. Uh, all right. Right on. All right, little buddy, there's your new home. So I'm gonna get this set up for drilling our six position holes on here. And um, when I'm done with it, I'm gonna play with it some more and see what other fun things we can do in the shop. I'm quite certain you'll be seeing this pop up in lots of other videos coming down the pipe. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, certainly appreciate it if you do. And if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. We got lots more like this coming. We'll see you in the next video.